Бачу, зайшов вчорашній експромт з відеонарізкою норм. Мені це стало 8-10 хвилин, а вам трохи емоцій та враж. Танчик хробачий отримав дінділей, а за ним і беха. І поки лишимо спокої, але не забуваємо, подивимося далі з шостим танчиком. Ось і вирішили проблему браку часу на спілкування з вами. Танчик далеко не відійшов. Е всьому і кліматим на допрацювання негайно. Залишати ту коросту в асфальта на нах. Не варто, не сильно та впівіха його вразила, звісно, вони гарно загрильовані. Нічого, летить наступна, залишати його без догляду не варто, поки не стемніло люка. І тепер танчику трохи зле. Ніби й закінчили з тим танчиком. Спостерігаєшся. Залишилося дорозвідати мавіками пташок. Цей бобік сконав остаточно, а що з тою бехою, що поперла вперед, а ось вона гамселить, і то так лишати не можна, бо вона наблизилася вже до терекона, FPV пташин, того маш, добрий пенділь отримав і погнав кертами. Паркуватися той не гоже. Ти не видиш, не боре розмітку на асфальті. Там суцільна. Того не встоїш. Глибоке проникнення у пено. Все ми робить свою роботу. Ось наступний. Адже всі люки відкриті. Як не скористатися? можливості хробаки після першого так набздюхали що всі на нах на перевітрювання всі люки та й двері залишили відкритими от тепер та Russian ultra patriots have begun to suspect that the war against Ukraine is destroying Russia This opinion was expressed by retired Colonel General of the Russian Armed Forces, Head of the Academy of Geopolitical Problems of the Russian Federation, Leonid Ivashov. Ivashov claims that the war against Ukraine has become a business for the top leadership of Russia. He also predicted that as a result of the so-called SVO, the Russian Federation will disintegrate into dozens of states. What is happening is the defense sphere is all being done systematically so that Russia collapses. I can't explain it any other way. And then someone will get all the wealth and we will have 20 to 22 very independent states like Tuva, Bashkotostan, Tatarstan and so on. And everything is going according to this plan. Someone is making money on this. They are making money on this SVO. In two years of military operations, they have earned $36 billion. This is business. The Russian general said, the Kremlin has long spread disinformation and propaganda to achieve its objectives. It continues to decimate lies to justify its unprovoked, unjustifiable invasion of Ukraine. Recall since April 2024, the special services of Russia have been conducting a large-scale operation to detain current and former high-ranking officials of the Russian Defense Ministry in corruption cases. During 2022 and 2023, despite positive reports from officials, there was a lot of criticism of the Ministry of Defense from military bloggers, war correspondents and the participants in the fighting in Ukraine themselves. Many generals who have been caught on camera by law enforcement agencies are very wealthy people. In some cases before and in some cases after their arrest, information about multi-million dollar real estate properties that they own began to appear in the media. In addition to the detentions and arrests of former and active military personnel, a series of resignations took place in the Ministry of Defense. The start was given by the resignation of the head of the military department, Sergei Shoigu. Russia's victory in the military operation is impossible without the destruction of all NATO forces on Ukrainian territory. This was stated in a conversation with Info24 by Russian military political scientist Alexander Perenziev. I think that the end of the special operation depends not on the change of the Kyiv regime and its leader, but on the change of the West's policy towards Russia. 
Only in this situation can we talk about the end of the conflict, he explained. The expert added that at the current stage, Russia is forced to use military force to force the West to change its attitude towards itself. Perenziev noted that in order to achieve victory in the special operation, the Russian military must destroy not only the armed forces of Ukraine, but also the forces of the North Atlantic Alliance, which are currently supporting the Ukrainian army in combat operations. NATO troops have been fighting for a long time as part of the Ukrainian armed forces, including Poles, Balts, French, Germans, Canadians, British and Americans. When we talk about the defeat of the Ukrainian armed forces, we mean the destruction of NATO troops that are on Ukrainian territory. This is what Russia's victory in the special military operation will consist of, the political scientist concluded. Recently, Russia's permanent representative to the UN, Vasily Nebenzia, stated at a Security Council meeting on Ukraine that Moscow would continue to conduct a military operation if the West did not allow the cancerous tumor in the form of the Kiev regime to be eliminated peacefully. The permanent representative expressed the opinion that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is trying to force Western countries to become direct participants in a military conflict with Russia. According to him, Ukraine, with its actions, wants to push the world into the abyss of World War III. Nebenzia described the UN Security Council meeting itself as a concert stage for Volodymyr Zelensky. At the same time, the permanent representative noted that Russia has always respected the Ukrainian people and considers them fraternal.